Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom and a salute to the hopefully elect. Now, um, I was, this video, uh, I was going to go in on uh, the black consciousness group. Um, lately I have been, um, you know, seeing things as far as how the Heavenly Father is uh, bringing an end to all this madness, you know, with Jake dealing with this uh, black consciousness spirit. And we all seeing it fall right before our eyes. You know, the Heavenly Father is going to slowly take down all these, uh, you know, sectors, whether it's the black, because uh, Esau is falling. But judgment is going to begin at the house of Israel. The ones that they that know that they Israel, all these wicked Israelite camps are sold out all the way down to the the. The average Israelite that don't even know he's an Israelite, but unless you've been hiding under a rock for the last 20 years, or I would rather 10, close to 20 years, it's, it's, really, it's really hard uh, for a person to say that he didn't come across the truth. What's uh, Matthew 24, 14 in this gospel, and I'm quoting it right now. This gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world. So the gospel, you know, uh, the fact that um, the blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans are the children of Israel and that we've been uh, brought, brought over here to serve bondage and uh, we're going to get delivered. And if we got the kingdom to look forward to and the Israelites are scattered. That's the gospel. That's the gospel. That's the truth. But we got a lot of sectors that's not even dealing with the truth. And if if you look um, at the uh, the screen, this is a uh, I believe they. Um, I'm not sure what sector this guy's in, but this come from off a of Sonetta uh, TV. And we all know he's a black consciousness um, guy. And uh, like lately he'd been following. Like he wouldn't have a lifeline if it wasn't for Hebrews, as he was, as he called it. He's right. We are Hebrews, but we're, we're Hebrew Israelites. Because when you say Hebrew, you, you're talking about a, uh, you're talking about a lineage but you got to be specific because um, in reality, Esau is a Hebrew. Esau is a Hebrew Edomite, you see? And Lord, well, I'll do a lesson on that, but I'm going to go into it a little bit. But yes, Hebrew is a race, but you got different races. Just like you got um, Ham, Japheth, and Shem, right? That's three main races. We cut. We all. We uh. If you're on the earth now, you either, you come out of those three guys, those three men, Shem, Japhet, and Ham, and then through down on the lineage, that's when the heavenly father formed the nations. So you got a race, and then you got a uh, uh different branches within a race like. We Hebrew Israelites, right? But then you got a different um, tribe within a, a, a race. You know, you got 12 tribes within a race. So this is the truth. We're Hebrew Israelites. I know they like to say, oh, the Hebrews. Well, um, Chinese and Japanese people are Hebrews. You know, Hebrew. Um, well, no, let me correct that. Salaki. Um. They come out of Moab. That's right. They come out of Moab. So, yes, I believe you can. Um, I'm a, If I'm not mistaken, I'm going to go back over that. But a lot. They come out of lot line because uh, 
um, Moab and Ammon came out of Lot. And I believe Lot was a Hebrew. He, you know, he definitely came back as a as an Israelite. But back then, when um, the Heavenly Father was forming the nations, like Moab and Ammon, he was a Hebrew. So yeah, you can you can you can say that the Chinese people and Japanese people are Hebrews, Hebrew Moabites, Hebrew, you know, and so on. But Lord, when I do a lesson on um, that, you know, on on Hebrews and the lineage and so on and so on. But not to go way off topic, because uh, I'm gonna go to the scriptures, right? I'm going to go to the scriptures and show you that this uh, following black consciousness is not the way. And that's one of the reasons why the Heavenly Father put us in this uh, predicament. So uh, hold on for a second. All right. The first scripture that I pulled up is Isaiah chapter 33. And um, I'm going to start at six. And it says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength for salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. A lot of these guys don't fear the Lord because they don't even know the Lord. They don't even know how he operates. They don't even know how he thinks. They don't have a clue. We have a clue somewhat of how to what the Heavenly Father wants us to do. They don't. They don't even believe. So that's for you, uh, the new brothers, you know, that might have came across the truth you know and you might be watching are you oh, oh we was at camp last week and you we had a guy the guy hey his eyes opened up his spirit he was happy because he was following I, isubk but he came across us and that's a blessing the heavenly father might have hey he might be one of the elect it says and wisdom and and knowledge shall be the stability of time stability means stable means uh to stand you're gonna be like a foundation you're gonna have a strong foundation in that time if you had the right knowledge and wisdom and what's what's that knowledge and wisdom the the was the knowledge of the heavenly father not the black consciousness not the moors not not the other uh you know following um Kemet you know, the book of the dead. Let's go to another scripture. Jeremiah 4 and um, and 22. It says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They don't know the Lord. They don't have a clue. It says they are Sodom's children and they have no understanding. None understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And knowledge means to know. Knowledge means to know. You know, they 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 are foolish. The heavenly call, father called called Israelites foolish. They have not known me. You know, they know everything under the sun except for how the heavenly father uh want them to operate. Judges chapter 2 and verse 12. Listen to this, y'all. It says, um, you know what? I'm going to start at 11. It says, and the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served Balaam. And they forsook the Lord, God of their forefathers, God of their fathers, Salaki, which brought them out of the land of Egypt and follow other gods and other and of the gods of the people that were, let me start over it says and they forsook the lord god of their fathers which brought them out of the land of egypt and follow other gods of the gods of the people that were around about them and all this black consciousness stuff like that the book of the dead those edomites wrote that book the so-called white man wrote that book so y'all following behind the god that's uh, a hermetic Edom, um, Edomite God. 
because the uh, Esau he follows behind those comedic gods. So really, that's the same spirit. They, those are nothing but the same spirits. Y'all, they they uh, sign that in them. They follow them behind the same spirits. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Ecclesiastes chapter one verse nine. There is no new thing under the sun. So it all makes sense now. These guys that's in a black consciousness mess, they following behind the same gods that they were back then. It's nothing new. It's just the skies under something else. Where well, we were in Egypt, when we left up out of Egypt, we were in Egypt following those same, y'all the same people. They the same people that was following them, those, hey, hey, the spirit, hey, the heavenly father, hey, man, it's great. Read on, it says, okay, round about them, follow, it says, it says, and follow other gods of the gods of the people that were round about them and bowed themselves unto them and provoked the Lord to anger. The Lord is angry with you people. You know, that's why we got to brothers, us brothers in the truth. We got to pray every day to uh, ask for forgiveness and ask the Lord to have mercy on us because we don't want to be caught up in that two thirds club. You know, we want to we want to be the hopefully elect. It says, and they forsook the Lord and served Baal and Ashtorah. Those the same, those, most likely those the same gods that all these black consciousness uh, guys are worshiping. You know, it's, it's the same spirit on them. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go back because I wanted to read this part. Uh, verse Judges chapter two and verse fourteen, it says, "And the and the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and He delivered them into the hands of spoilers that spoil them." See, so that's why we, that's why the so-called white man uh, destroyed us. We in the hands of uh, our enemies. You know, it's because we we went off. And every time we went off, the Heavenly Father gave us unto another nation. And uh, this is a prelude to Deuteronomy. This is connected. This verse right here, verse 14, is connected to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. It says, and he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. So, yeah. Um, so the Heavenly Father said, y'all want to serve the other gods? Of the people that's round about y'all, I'ma put y'all under the people that's round about y'all, and we didn't like that. So the heavenly Father is great. He's a he's a, he's our Father. So he disciplined us. He said, since you want to serve the other gods, of the God of the people that's round about you, I'ma pit them people that's round about you over you. You know, we we better than those people. We we the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We were. We were over those people. Salaka. Okay, Salaka, we had a little interruption, but uh, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna read. This is Judges chapter ten, and I'm gonna read verse. Um, I'm gonna start at six. All right, it says, "And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord, and served Belem and Ashtaroth." And the gods of Syria, and the gods of Zidon, and the gods of Moab, and the gods of the children, the gods of the children of Ammon, and the gods of the children of the Philistines, and forsook the Lord and served not him. So what they're saying, and then we, we look at the names of the nations, they round about us now, even to this day. Look at it. You got uh Syria. Who's that? Them Arabs? And at that time, you, you know, um, you had them Hamites in that area, you know, and um, those uh, Ishmael was in that area as well, you know, not too far from that area. OK, then we go down to um, Zidon, you know, I believe that's a, a, a ancient city around in um in Canaan, right? 
you know, when, um, for instance, um, I forgot the scripture, but it's in, it's in, it's in, um, the book of, is it, uh, the book of Psalms where it says Tyreek and Zidon, what the have, what the have, uh, what do you have done with me? Uh, what do you, this is the Lord speaking now. He said, what, what do you have to do with me, Tyreek and Zidon? You know, so that's, he was talking about the Hamites. So Zidon, Zidon um, is an ancient city uh, around about Canaan. So that's Ham. Now we are uh, the gods of Moab. We got Moab. We already know that's what? The so-called Chinese. Then we go down to the children of Ammon. Who's that? The so-called Japanese. Then let's go down to the Philistines. Who's that? Those are the Hamites, which will be the modern day Africans. So that's all the nations right there. That surround us down. This when we in the, the hood, the ghettos of America, they literally own all the stores in our neighborhood. You know, from the, the chicken spot up the street to to the 7 Eleven to the liquor stores to all the way down to the, 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 the bodegas, what they call them, or corner stores or laundromats. Or, they own everything. You know? It says, And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he sold them into the hands of the Philistines, the Philistines are the Hamites, and into the hands of the children of Ammon. Ammon is a Japanese. So these guys are just these black consciousness guys are serving the same gods that they were serving back in their past life, back when we were in Egypt and back when we uh, left up out of Egypt. And they're doing it again. And the Heavenly Father going to deal with them. The Heavenly Father going to deal with them. Let's go back to the picture. Yeah, the Heavenly Father is going to deal with them. Those the same gods. That they were searching back, serving, uh, and the scripture said they serve not him. Y'all didn't come to, you know, you so-called Negroes didn't come to your, your, your power that you're supposed to serve, which is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, the heavenly father, the son, which is a so-called black man. So I hope this was edifying to the body till again, Shalom.